Hello my friends, I'm sure many of us believe that they are hardly ever the reason why you lost a match. Well, today we will test your knowledge. We are going to break down a recent smurf game in epic rank and at certain points of the match you need to answer what is the best choice you can make so we can check if you would make the right decisions to carry the game. Let me know at the end how well you did. For this one you shouldn't skip any parts because every little decision in this game makes a difference in between losing and winning. Lastly leave a like and subscribe for many more ML guides to improve your gameplay massively. Let's get into it. First I'm going to give you a quick overview of the situation. I thought this will be a really easy game at first, considering Hanabi's and my win rate. How wrong I was. I was planning to play Jord as a jungler, because like this I could be present on all three lanes what is the best way to carry bad teammates. Unfortunately our S1 choose Moskov with retribution, so obviously I was expecting that he goes into the jungle. Spoiler alert, he didn't. I decided then to go to the XP lane and was able to dominate my lane completely. After 5 minutes I already managed to get 5 kills and had the highest gold and XP of all players. My team on the other hand lost out completely. They haven't managed to get a single kill but gave away 7 already. Now the first question. The turtle is up and our jungler just died. Will you go for the turtle or not? The answer is no. I have no vision of the area and 3 enemy heroes are missing. The only one I can see is Layla on the bot lane. If all three of them would be at the turtle, they could easily pick me up and I would lose all of the advantage I just built up. Also since I don't have retribution, I can't really steal the turtle anyway, so I better found the minions and try to push. I saw that Saber was coming up to my lane. What will you do now? I decided to set an ambush, so I'm not getting caught in the turret. Also I saw the enemies along on the minimap, so I could engage with a lot of confidence and kill the enemy Saber easily. Notice how I didn't use my ulti right away because I knew that he has a dash skill to escape. That's why I used it as soon as he could use it, so he had no chance to escape. This little decisions can make a huge difference in your performance. Now I could destroy the outer turret and room around much more freely. That's another very good example where every little decision matters. If I wouldn't have set the ambush I would never be able to destroy the tower. Next Uranus showed up. What will you do now? Since I can't really damage him that much because of his passive regeneration and Guinevere must be around somewhere, I decided to retreat, which was definitely the right decision. If I would have fight him I could have maybe killed him, but as soon as Guinevere would jump on me it's over. Since no minion wave was up I could recall to the base to heal. Let's check the current situation. I have a nice gold lead but our Hanabi and Tigril are losing out big time. The enemies Layla have already 3 kills and 2 supports. She is going to be a nightmare when she's going to be fed. Our so called jungler Moskov didn't even bother to buy a jungle item. So where would you go next? It's quite obvious I think. You have to go back to your lane and defend it. In most situations you should make sure to clear the minion wave before rotating. If not your enemy can just push the whole lane through and open up the complete map for ambushes and to steal your buffs. While I was clearing the minion wave a little gank happened. First I thought our Odette managed to save Moskov's butt, but I was wrong. Another minion wave is coming up, but the Uranus is low and Guinevere is nowhere to be seen. What would you do now? I decided to rotate mid and help on my team. Let's see what happens. I anticipated that Guinevere will rotate mid as well. Because of this correct small decision I got 2 free kills, 360 gold and could push my lane even further. Now we are about 30 seconds later in the game. I hear the retribution sound and Saber was right in front of me. What would you do here? To anyone who would engage now I can tell you, you are really wrong. Remember 30 seconds ago we just killed Guinevere and Uranus. What means they just respawned. Since I'm pushing they are very likely to come here and defend the lane. So your only option is... <laughs> For some reason Hanabi decided to come top to… well I don't really know why. She was of course directly picked up by the enemy. Luckily she could escape and we even got a kill. I wanted to target Saber but failed. I'm just going back into hiding and wait for the next wave. The enemy started really to target me now. Meanwhile Hanabi went on a suicide mission. As you can see Saber is approaching her. What would you do now? The correct answer would have been to just let her die. We are in a 2v3 situation which is actually a 1v3 situation since she's not fed at all and doesn't even have her full HP for the CC immunity. Kind hearted how I am I've tried to save her for which I had to bleed. Our Odette and Tick went for a totally pointless chase because Odette already used her ult and there's no way they could kill this two. Tick died and Odette was really lucky to escape here. So 
That went horribly wrong. I didn't just give away a free kill to the enemy and a lot of gold for the shutdown. I also lost the outer tower of my lane, which makes it more difficult for me to push. Because this whole area is free now. So when I'm pushing the tower, I can get easily picked up by the enemy. This small mistake can really cost you entire matches. Now they want to push through the whole lane. Hanabi and Moskov couldn't care less about defending the lane. Odette does the right thing here, in defending the other lane. Even though Hanabi joined her, she should have come top, so I'm not alone against three enemies. I managed to hide in this bush before they could see me. What now? Let's see what happens. So, why did I decide to attack them before they enter the tower? If I waited to let them go into the tower, there is a higher chance that they could pick me up. By throwing Grenevy into it, I could guarantee kill her and defend my turret. Because the other two can't just tower dive me. Now, for once my team did very well. They killed the enemies along in Saber and were able to get the turtle. I decided to push the other mid tower to open up the map even more. Now I could start to steal the enemy's buffs. Johad can do this pretty quickly with his first. While I was hiding here, the whole enemy team showed up. What now? To be honest, here I was risking too much. But I just found the idea funny to run through the whole enemy team. Even though they all chased me, I could escape. Unfortunately, our Odette decided to gank them alone. What would you do now? Odette was able to damage them a lot with her ult. So I could just charge into them and get a double kill with it. Odette died though, but I could pick up the Gwenevue once again. In the end, this was a good trade for my team. I gained a whopping 760 gold and was able to push the mid lane even further. If you have the opportunity to push, do it. It opens up the whole enemy jungle and you can push the enemy into the base like this. Next, my three teammates wanted to gank mid. Would you join them? The enemies know that I'm by far the biggest threat to them and you can't rely on your teammates in such a match. If I would jump into it, they would all focus their skills on me and I would have no chance of surviving. So instead of wasting my life, I push the bot tower to open up the map even further. My team still went all in into the gank, which is a horrible decision. What they should have done is just faking that they want to gank, but back out before anyone takes significant damage. When the enemy teams want to gank, one of you can just quickly split push another lane and take down a turret easily. But well, my team didn't think this way. Now, what would you do next? I can see on the minimap that the enemy is really low. They also killed two of my teammates, including our tank, which tells me that I must have used all of their skills on them. So I have to rotate quickly now to pick them up and change the disadvantage into an advantage. I wasn't using my skills perfectly here, but you can't do all the time everything perfect. At least we went out even in kills. What to do next? The Lord is impossible. This I could only do alone as a fat jungler. So my only choice was to continue farming. By the way, I've made a huge mistake here. Do you see what I did wrong here? As you can see, I have six items in my build. I prioritize Wind Talker for even more damage because I was aiming to end the game as soon as possible, but didn't realize that I already have these two items in my build. And because of that, I couldn't buy any more items because I basically didn't have a free space for it. I'm just joking by the way. This was all planned because I wanted to make you aware of that. Next our Moscow was suiciding once more. <coughs> Luckily Odette and me were around, so we could pick up Saber and Guinevere. What would you do next? Now it's time to get the Lord. Unlike before, we are now in the 4v3 situation and the jungler is dead. Since we cannot rely on Moskov who has retribution, we have to take it down now. If you are playing with bad teammates, you have to end the game as soon as possible. Because once everyone have their full build, you cannot fight alone anymore against 5 people. Even this mission went almost completely wrong. I wanted to scare the enemies away here, but for some reason, our Hanabi, who really should focus the Lord, wanted to fight as well. It still worked out and we managed to get a double kill. Unfortunately, we cannot finish the game yet. Moskov went AFK, so from now on, we are always in a 4v5 situation. Also, Hanabi got caught up, so that was it with the Lord. At least we could push the last middle tower and the super minions put pressure on the inner turrets. Also, bot Moskov followed me from now on. I guess he is more useful now than before. Next, I wanted to steal blue, but the whole enemy team was there. What would you do now? I made a little mistake here. Even though I killed the saber, I had to waste my flicker because otherwise I would have died. Not a deal breaker, but still. The next gank went wrong and it's kinda my fault. I've overestimated my strength and just wanted to kill the Uranus quickly. But I should have known that you can't kill him quickly. I've played him often enough that I should have known that. Instead, I should have focused on the squishy heroes like Layla. Saber just respawned and for the next 30 seconds, I'm in the 1v3 situation. What would you do next?
I decided to steal the red buff when I saw that Zilong was pushing. I should have defended the tower instead of stealing the buff, I think. Pro tip, watch the replays from your own matches. You can realize a lot of mistakes you make this way. This can be very effective to become a better player. If you don't know where to find them, here they are. Finally, I realized my totally planned mistake and had my full build ready. Next, we have many more mistakes from our team. Sabre and Zilong are pushing both side lanes. Hanabi get caught up by Zilong and dies before I arrive. Sabre can push top without any trouble, because Tikken or Dead fight a 2v3, which they lose of course. At least I could get two kills. This is the stage where it can get really tricky. Johad loses a lot of his strength in the late game, because you can't focus single targets when the teams stick together for ganks. So the only option I really had is, is trying to catch an enemy out of position, to get the number advantage in ganks. Sabre was so kindly to do so. Free kill, thank you very much. Also, Hanabi was able to get a double kill, because of her insane late game damage. Now we could take the Lord another time. <laughs> After two more kills, we could easily finish it now. I don't understand this. I really don't. Why the f would you farm in the jungle now instead of finishing the game? Why? What the f is wrong with you guys? So yeah, we couldn't finish it. Hanabi didn't realize she attacked a minion instead of Layla and... My focus is completely on the enemy's Layla now. If I can kill her, we can finish this match. Wow, this was stupid from me. Well, it wouldn't be if the bot Noskov would attack the base. Attack the f***ing base, please! <laughs> so yeah, I almost bottled the game here. After the respawn, what would you do next? First I defended the base and killed Gwenevue for the about 58 time. Next I tried to push top to bound the enemies into their base or to finish the game if they ignore it. The enemy decided to get the Lord. Even though they got the Lord, it doesn't matter at all. Our superhero, the late game monster Hanabi, was able to kill them all. So, now we were in the 4v2 situation and we have the best chance to finish the game. The enemy made it really easy for us though. Running out of the base here was the worst decision they could have made. The only thing I had to keep in my mind now is the time. If they respawned, it would have become really difficult. Luckily, we could finish before that happened. So, as you can see, there were so many decisions I had to make in this game. If I would have done a few more mistakes, we would have definitely lost this game. That's why every little decision can make the difference in between winning and losing. So let me know now in the comments how well you did in this game. Would you have been able to carry this game? If you enjoyed this guide, leave a like and subscribe and check out my ML guide playlist to further improve your skill. See you over there.